Welcome back. 100 years and a day. The 4th Infantry Division has been a part of U.S. military history. Fort Carson is the home of the 4th ID, and it has a new commanding general, Major General Randy George. Tonight, only on News 5, one-on-one -on -one with General George and the impressive legacy of what's now a century of service and the challenges that remain. What's been most interesting to me is as much as the battlefield has changed and maybe some of the equipment has changed, uh, the heart and courage of our soldiers, I think, remains um, very much the same. And General George would know this is his fourth stop on Fort Carson, a West Point graduate who has worked his way up through the Army's chain of command. Infantry officer, platoon leader, brigade commander, deputy commanding general on Fort Carson, and most recently a stint at the Pentagon before returning to Colorado Springs. My job here is to make sure that our division, that our units here on Fort Carson are prepared if a combatant command, if we get the order from the secretary um, to deploy. With hot zones around the world, General George says it's as busy for his command staff and soldiers as it's ever been. While there were indications earlier this year of an imminent deployment to Afghanistan, he says official orders have not come down yet. I fully expect while I'm here, and I've told other people this, that um, given what's going on in the world, that we need to be ready. And I would expect all of our units that will we'll deploy at some point. His troops are constantly engaged, never content. He says they must become experts, whatever the mission calls for. The 3rd Brigade Combat Team, just returning from months of training with NATO forces and allies in Europe, the Middle East remains unstable. A new focus on Africa, where terror networks beginning to set up shop in increasing numbers, and our forces are in the crosshairs. We will also be very specific after we've done that tr kind of training to give them very specific location training or things that are um, specific to a certain country or area, we do that. Humanitarian missions, also a part of what the Mountain Post is all about. Rapid response this year to Houston, the East Coast, and Puerto Rico after disastrous hurricanes. They need to be ready for that mission. We've, uh, you know, we had to be ready to support for wildland fires if that was to come up. So um, there's, again, we, that, that's part of being really good at the basics and being able to uh, respond to whatever our, our leadership calls us to do. And serving on the front lines of combat, General George knows that making sure his troops are physically and mentally fit. His command mantra, mission, soldier, family, team. One of the big things I talk about here is respect and treating everybody with dignity and respect. And so everybody that's in, in my formation that's wearing this uniform, um, that's the expectation that I have out of them. It's a mindset and it's a culture. And we expect our, and it, it impacts confidence, it impacts stamina, it saves lives on the battlefield. General George is a husband and father, in fact, his son, a lieutenant in the Army, currently serving in Afghanistan. He told me he loves to once again call Colorado Springs his home. He says he's humbled by the opportunity to lead the men and women of the 4th ID into the next century of service.